All right guys, my name is Thomas Passy and today I'm back with another video and this is the 10 versus $10,000 tarantula video. Now this is a video that is aimed to help those of you who are just starting out in the hobby and don't know what kind of tarantula you should buy. Some of you might be asking yourselves what kind of tarantula you should buy and there's so many different kinds of tarantulas that come in so many different colors, prices, and sizes. Like it's crazy the amount of tarantulas that exists. There's literally like blue spiders, there's purple ones and pink ones. There's the blue fang tarantula that has crazy blue fangs. I mean, it's crazy the amount of spiders that there are. So yeah, there's a large price range between tarantulas, but I will say that the more expensive ones don't get that expensive. Like you won't find any tarantula for like $10,000. That number is way too high. Uh, but you will find tarantulas for around $500. And usually those will be like mature females of a species that's very sought after. And if you're looking for mature females, that's where you're going to be paying a lot of money but if you're just trying to get a sling which is a little baby tarantula you shouldn't be paying too much for it one of the best tarantulas to start off with in my opinion is a chilean rosehair tarantula and you can find those for like five to twenty dollars at reptile expos i actually started out with a chilean rosehair tarantula myself and i mean i had a great experience with them some people don't really recommend them because they tend to be kind of moody but since i don't hold any of my tarantulas that's not a problem for me handling tarantulas is a whole nother topic which i won't get into in this video uh but that's definitely a discussion that we could have another day so generally new world tarantula slings are the cheapest tarantulas you'll come across in reptile expos and then once you start moving into old world species like the p metallica and other types of that nature uh, you will start to see the prices increase and in those types of spiders uh, a lot of the times they have higher amounts of venom they're very fast and a lot of old worlds are arboreal they may be a little bit harder to care for so if you're a beginner I would definitely recommend you stick to some new world tarantula and I wouldn't buy it as a sling honestly if I'm a beginner I'd get it a little bit bigger so I'd go to a reptile expo I'll see what they have available and if there's anything I like I mean there's a lot of cages there for sale, there's substrate there. So you could probably get everything at that Reptile Expo itself. And if you buy things correctly, you won't even be spending over $100 on your first tarantula plus her cage. That's something I really like about keeping pet tarantulas. You don't really have to spend too much money on them and their care is very simple. Oh, and make sure you don't buy a mature male because if you do buy a mature male, it might actually die on you quickly because People sell mature males cheaper so that they can breed with a female. So only people who breed tarantulas buy those. So I mean, just ask the person who's selling it and make sure that it's not a mature male. I made a lot of videos in the past where I say I have 100 plus pets, but honestly, there's no way I could keep 100 plus lizards or snakes or anything because those reptiles are very hard to take care of. Not very, very hard, but they do require a lot more time than a tarantula. Like if I had a hundred tegus, there's no way I could do that. But one tegu, I can manage one tegu. And I'm actually looking at Rambo right here. He's sleeping, so I'll leave him alone. I don't want to take him out this video. But if you do want to see my tegu, go check out my other videos because I have a lot of videos with him and I'm holding him like right here. I mean, I'll put, I'll put something up right here for you guys to see him, but I'm not taking him out right now. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some tarantulas that I think are good for beginners. Just remember that the price of the tarantula does not matter as long as you're happy owning it and you can provide for it and help it live a very long life or a short one if you buy a male. You should be fine. All right, so here's the chili and rosier tarantula I was talking about. This was actually my first tarantula and you can get these pretty cheap at reptile shows. Uh, I've seen them as cheap as $5, especially for slings, uh, but an adult one will usually run you probably about $20 to $35, and they are very easy to take care of. They've got this brown coloration, and usually if you guys want to get a tarantula that has bright colors, uh, the price will usually go up. And uh, I'm actually going to be showing you a blue tarantula that is actually on the more affordable side right now, so we can go and look at that one right now. All right, so it's kind of hard to see it right here, but this is a green bottle blue tarantula. And they've got some beautiful blue coloration with that orange right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw a super worm in there so maybe it'll come out, let's see. I don't know if it's hungry, but I mean, we could try. 
All right, so the super worm. Oh, okay, yeah, she was hungry. And let's see if we can get a good shot of her. Well, obviously you can see that this is a beautiful blue tarantula, and these are honestly not that expensive. So, I mean, if you want one of these, here's a good chance. All right, so now that we're done feeding and looking at this beautiful spider, let's move on to another one. All right, so right here we have a curly haired tarantula, and as you can see, it's eating a super worm right there. And this is a very beautiful species of tarantula, but if price matters to you, I don't think you'll find them as cheap as you could find a Chilean rose haired tarantula. This one actually moves a lot faster than my Chilean rose haired tarantula, but she's also really friendly, and even though I don't hold her, I do like working with her a lot more. All right, so here's one last shot of the curly haired tarantula, and we can move on to another spider. All right, so right here in this tall cage, we have my P. metallica. This is the Goody Sapphire Ornamental Tarantula. As you can see, I just replaced her water right here, but she does not hang out around this side of the enclosure. Usually she hangs out inside of this cork bark, and I'll try to show you guys her right now. All right, so right there you can see her. I love those blue colors all over her body, and the hints of yellow on the spider really make it perfect. This tarantula does come with a price tag that's higher than the other tarantulas I've shown in this video, but honestly, once you know what you're doing and you're a little bit more experienced with tarantulas, I think this is an amazing tarantula to own. All right, so if you made it to the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe, like the video if you haven't already, and comment your favorite tarantula species. Thanks for watching.